students today we will again continue with unit 2 but the topic is new topic number 5 which is duty of water relationship between duty delta and base period so this is lecture number 10 so first topic is factors affecting the duty of water so the first factor is climatic and season as stated earlier, duty includes the water lost in evaporation and percolation. These losses will vary with the season. Hence, duty varies from season to season and also from time to time in the same season. So, the figures for duties which we generally express are their average values considered over the entire crop period. Second is useful rainfall. If some of the rain falling directly over the irrigated land is useful for the growth of the crop, then so much less irrigation water will be required to mature the crop. More the useful rainfall, less will be the requirement of irrigation water and hence more will be the duty of irrigation water. The third point is type of soil. If the permeability of the soil under the irrigated crop is high, the water loss due to percolation will be more and hence the duty will be less. Therefore, for sandy soils where the permeability is more, the duty of water is less. The fourth point is the efficiency of cultivation method. If the cultivation method which includes tillage and irrigation is faulty or is problematic and is also less efficient, it results in the wastage of water. So this duty of water will naturally be less since it results in the wastage of water. So if the irrigation water is used economically, then the duty of water will improve as the same quantity of water would be able to irrigate more area. Cultivators should therefore be trained and educated pro properly so as to use the irrigation water economy. Next topic is importance of duty. So what is the importance of duty? So, it helps us in designing an efficient canal irrigation system. Canal irrigation system, this topic we will discuss in the upcoming units. So, knowing the total available water at the end of a main canal and the overall duty for all the crops required to be irrigated in different seasons of the year, the area which can be irrigated can be worked out. Inversely, if we know the crop's area, required to be irrigated and duties, we can work out the discharge required for designing the canal. So here I've shown you the standard values for the base period of seasons. So the base period for Kharif crop is 123 days, the base period for Rabi crop is 122 days and the base period for HW. So don't confuse HW, it is hot weather crops, it is 120 days. So now when we find out the average duty per year, I have shown you how you can find it out. So this 0 0.5, 0 0.7 and 1.2, these are the fixed values for Kharif crop, Rabi crop and hot weather crops. Next is the relation between duty and delta. So let us consider a crop which has a base period of B days. So let us consider 1 kg of water which is applied to this particular crop on the field for how many days? B days. So now the volume of water applied to this crop during these B days is calculated as below. So it comes out to be 86,400 B. This relationship I have already shown you in our last class. You can go over it if you have forgotten. So next is by definition of duty that is D. 1 cubic meter supplied for B days matures D hectares of land. So therefore this quantity of water, that is the volume, matures D hectares of land or 10 to the power 4 D square meter of area. So total that the water apply on this land becomes volume divided by area. So volume is 86,400 B and area is 10 to the power 4 D. So, which is equal to 8.64 B by D meters. So, from centimeter, it is turned, converted to meters. So, by definition, this total depth of water is called delta. Therefore, delta is equal to 8.64 B by D meters or in centimeter, it can be written as delta is equal to 864 B by D centimeter. So, where delta is in centimeter, B, that is base period is in days, and D, 
that is duty, it is in hectares per cubic. So you should note down the formula or the relationship of delta and duty. It is important for you all to solve the numerical problems. So the first problem I've cited here is find the delta for sugar cane when its duty is given as 730 hectares per cumeg on the field and the base period is given as 110 days. So first in solving any numerical sum, we have to first write given. So given D is equal to 730 hectares per cumeg, base period is equal to 110 days and therefore delta, since we are asked to find delta, therefore delta is equal to 864B whole divided by d centimeter. So when you substitute your values, you get the delta for sugar cane as 130.1 centimeter. Okay. So next question number two, again we have to find the delta of the crop whose duty is given as 834 hectares per cumac and the base period of the crop is 120 days. After writing the given, then we deduct the values, substitute the values, and we find the answer which is found to be 120 centimeter. All you have to do is just remember the formula for delta while solving the simple sums. So the third question is, so in a block of Joar, Joar is a crop okay so during six periods of supply totaling to 120 hours during 18 june to 5th october total volume supplied was 354 into 10 to the power 5 meter cube if the block area is 78 hectares what will be the duty so in this question we have to find out the duty of the crop named joar whose period is given as six time is given as 120 hours and the duration of this growth growing of the Joar crop is 18 June to 5th October. The total volume given is 303, uh, sorry, 3.54 into 10 to the power 5 meter cube. And the block area is given to 38 hectares. So now we have to find out duty. So as usual, we have to write the given. So given it is a six periods of 120 hours, duration is 18 June to 5 October, volume supply is equal to 3.54 into 10 to the power 5 meter cube, area of Joa is equal to 78 hectares. Therefore, for calculation of duty, we have to adopt the standard base period. What is the standard base period? It is 123 days. So discharge, that is volume for base period is Volume by base period is the formula meter cube by second. So when you substitute the values, you find the answer is 0 0.033 cumex. So therefore, finally, we can deduct duty. So what is the uh, formula for duty? Duty is equal to area irrigated by discharge. So area irrigated was given as 78 hectares. So 78 divided by the discharge that we found out 0 0.033. So the answer is 2,364 hectares per cumac. You can put down the sum if you want to. So the next topic is score watering. So what is score watering? So the first watering which is done, the crop has grown to about 3 centimeters. This type of watering is known as score watering. Next is core depth. The depth of water applied for the core watering is called core depth. Number three is core period. What is core period? The period during which core watering is done is known as core period. 
students, this is your assignment from your Gemma. Here I have given you two questions. The first question is what are the measures for improving duty of water? I repeat, the first question is what are the measures for improving duty of water? The second question is 245 hectares of sugarcane was irrigated by 0 0.5, 0 0.7 and 1.2 cumic discharge during Kharif, Rabi and hot weather season. So, what will be the average duty per season and overall average duty of the sugar cane? So, um, the assum related to this time has already been discussed in our earlier lectures, in our earlier classes. You can go through it. And those who have doubt can contact me. And the last date of submission is 14 September, which is Monday. So, now we'll go through two or three short videos uh, regarding your concepts for duty, delta, base period, core watering, core depth, core period. That's all for today's class. Thank you. Hello and welcome to Engineer Hash Civil Engineer. In this video, I am going to talk about duty and delta. These two terms are very much important irrigation engineering. So let's understand the difference between duty and delta. Duty is the irrigation capacity of one unit of water. For example, 3 cubics of water is required for 5100 hectares of land during the entire crop growth. Here, the duty of the water is termed uh, is known as 5100 by 3, is known as 1700 hectares. Here, the duty of 1 cubic of water is 1700 hectares. This 1700 hectares is known as the duty of 1 cubic of land in that area. So, this duty gives the relation between area of the crop irrigated and the quantity of water required during the entire crop growth. This is known as duty. Duty of cubic means meter cube per second and 1 hectare is 10,000 meter square. And delta. Delta is the total depth of water required by a crop during the entire crop growth. For example, you take a crop and you have to water it about 12 times. And every time you have to water it for 10 centimeters depth. So this 10 centimeters into 12 waterings multiplied, you get 120 centimeters of water. Total watering of 120 centimeters during its entire crop. This 120 centimeters of water is known as delta, delta of that crop. So let's revise. Duty means what is the area that can be irrigated with one unit of water that is duty. And what is the total quantity of water required by a crop that is known as delta. And here are some important data. Data of Delta of certain important crops in India. 
please take a note if you like and thank you for watching this video if you understand the difference between hindi and delta please hit like button you can subscribe my channel for more such videos and videos you can share comment and you can send me feedback personal feedback at the same time thank you grammarly can help you write quickly and confidently so you never have to Hi, civil engineer. In this video, I'm going to talk about core watering, core depth, and core period. Core watering is the first watering done after crops have grown a few centimeters high. Such watering is known as core watering. First of all, you plow the field, you sow the crop, and you water it. And then the crop starts to grow. After a growth of few centimeters height, you again need to water it. Such watering is known as core watering. And this few centimeters can be around 3 or 4 centimeters. And the depth of water applied during core watering is known as core depth. And the period within the base period which core watering is done, such period is known as Core period. I think you know about base period. Base period is nothing but it is the period between the first two watering done to the crop and the last watering done to the crop. Such period is known as base period. And basically, the importance of this core watering is nothing but during the initial stages, water requirement of a crop is very high. And this water requirement gradually goes on decreasing when crop reaches the maturity period. So the irrigation channels or should be designed basing on the discharge required by core water. That is the importance or that is the major principle behind core water. So with this video, if you Understand core what in core period. Hello and welcome to Engineer Hash. In this video, I am going to discuss about crop period and base period. So, if you look at the crop period, it is the time period that elapses between sowing of a crop and harvesting of a crop is known as crop period. The time period that elapses between sowing of a crop to harvesting of a crop. Is known as crop period. Sowing is what you do after the preparation of the land. You sow the seeds and you get the crop. Harvesting is when the crop which is mentioned you cut the crop that is known as harvesting. So the time period that elapses between sowing of a crop and harvesting of a crop is known as crop period. For explanation, if you understand the basic concept of crop period, please don't forget to hit like button and you can subscribe to the channel. If you look at the base period, the time gap between first water and last water of a crop is known as base period. This base period is related to water. The time period between first water and last water is known as base period. Usually, the crop period is more than the base period. They are two different terms. So for explanation, if you understand the basic concepts of crop period and base period, please hit like button. You can subscribe my channel, Engineer Hash. You can send me feedback at this email. You can comment and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching this video.